First of all, give us your sense of your priorities right now as the real quarterback on U.S. trade policy. What are your top priorities? Well, it's great to be here with you today, David. Um, our top priorities are making sure that the American economy is as strong as possible and to deliver on President Biden's commitment to the American people, our workers, and our businesses, our stakeholders, that uh, we will put America on as strong a footing as possible to compete uh, with uh, anyone in the world. If you look at where we are today, we've got uh, historically low uh, unemployment. We've got uh, uh, lower inflation higher incomes, and also economic growth that is solid, as reflected in yesterday's GDP report. Um, since taking office, we have created 10 million jobs, 700,000 of those in manufacturing. We've got billions of dollars of investments being made here in America right now by great American manufacturing companies like Intel, Micron, Corning. The fundamentals of uh, the American economy are strong. Um, you see gas prices coming down, and inflation has been flat for the last three months. Uh, and uh, with respect to being the United States trade representative, uh, I cannot think of a stronger economy uh, to be negotiating from uh, in terms of a position of strength in a time of uh, significant mm -hmm. global economic disruptions. Ambassador Tai, as you just laid out, uh, President Biden is doing his very best to deliver on his commitment to the American worker uh, in terms of jobs, protecting their jobs and also keeping their uh, salaries up. But is that a trade-off with inflation? Because let's be frank, some of the things that are done, including in the trade front, that actually protect some of those jobs back home also lead to higher prices, do they not? Look, um, what we are doing in uh, trade is to ensure that uh, America's economy uh, and our interests are being served uh, as part of uh, a solution to uh, global economic needs for resilience, to promote sustainability and inclusion. And for us, that begins with making sure that the core of our stakeholder support includes our workers. Um, with respect to uh, inflation, I would just say uh, there are a lot of complex factors going into inflation. And again, to emphasize that for the last three months, inflation has been flat and we've been seeing steady, solid economic growth. Uh, President Biden has made it very explicit that inflation is really his top priority, as various members of his staff at the White House have said as well. Have you been enlisted in that effort to see what could be done on the trade front to bring prices down? Look, our focus is on investing in the American economy and in our workers, uh, and that is to uh, make them as competitive as possible in competing with the rest of the world. So absolutely, as member of President Biden's economic team, we are looking at the full picture and we are deploying our trade tools to look after not just America and Americans' interests today, but also how we are going to position ourselves to compete in the medium and long terms. Let me ask about one specific uh, set of relations, and that's with China. Now, obviously, you're asked about that a great deal. Uh, it has been said by economists that if we were to re reduce some of the tariffs we have with China, it would reduce some costs to U.S. consumers. Where are we on U.S.-China trade policy? Because I'm not sure I know. Well, um, I think that a lot of eyes have been uh, focused on Beijing over the course of the last week. The 20th Party Congress just took place, a really important moment. Um, and we see President Xi um, uh, locking in um, a third unprecedented term. Look, the United States economy and the uh, Chinese economy are the two largest economies in the world. Uh, our trade and economic relationship is important not just to us, but to the entire world economy. For the Biden administration, it is of the utmost importance for us to approach this relationship to make sure that we are being strategic and effective and that we are positioning the American economy, the American worker, and our industries in the strongest position possible to compete. And that absolutely guides everything that we've done so far. So, Madam Ambassador, are you in touch with your counterpart in China to see if there are any places where something could be done that could help both nations? Uh, I have been in conversation uh, with my counterpart um, in Beijing. Um, uh, they have been virtual conversations. Um, as, uh, as certainly the business world knows, um, China's COVID restrictions and travel restrictions are uh, um, uh, very rigid. Um, but uh, you are absolutely right in terms of uh, the era of engagement uh, that we are in. That engagement includes uh, our allies, our close friends, our partners, but that uh, also includes uh, engagement with China. This is a profoundly consequential economic relationship, and it is with a seriousness of purpose uh, 
uh, that we approach the management of this economic relationship. Uh, President Biden has been explicit uh, right straight through, including when he was running for the presidency, that one of the elements of dealing with China is making sure we have very strong relations with our allies. Right now, there is an issue right now with Europe, as I understand it, coming out of the Inflation Reduction Act, where they're saying, wait a second, you're subsidizing some of your renewables industries just the way you're accusing China of doing. Where does that stand? I believe there are talks next week coming up, are there not? Well, uh, there are talks next week. We have established um, a, a, a formal task force um, to take up these concerns with uh, our European friends. Uh, and um, let me just say, uh, over the course of the last two years, a lot of our work has been on building uh, the U.S.-EU alliance and a trade and economic relationship. Um, uh, tensions are always a part of the trade relationship. And I think that we have a solid foundation uh, to build upon um, and demonstrated uh, accomplishments in managing the tensions and concerns that we have encountered uh, and uh, uh, putting ourselves uh, and pointing ourselves in the same direction with respect to the challenges that we share uh, when we face um, uh, challenges like competition with China, but also uh, the impacts of Russia's invasion on Ukraine. But are you confident, Madam uh, uh, Ambassador, that in fact there is a way for the United States to pursue, again, President P Biden's policy of really pursuing renewables very aggressively? We have a climate problem, goodness knows, all around the world. We can pursue that aggressively without running afoul of some of the uh, bans on subsidizing industry. Look, the Inflation Reduction Act is the largest single investment that the United States has ever made into clean uh, technology uh, and the, uh, the, the clean future uh, that we see uh, as a need for our industries. That is something at its core that we share with the European Union and all of our allies and partners. There is so much for us to do together. Yes, I am confident that with respect to concerns that have come up, that we will be able to solve them in this larger context. Uh, finally, Madam Ambassador, uh, when President Biden went over to Asia, he unveiled, as I recall, the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. Could you bring us up to speed on where that is? I know Canada, I believe, is now asked in. Are we making progress on really developing that? So uh, President Biden launched this framework in May. Um, we had our first in-person ministerial hosted in Los Angeles at the beginning of September. And uh, we are expecting our senior officials to be getting to brass tacks uh, and sitting down um, for a negotiating round uh, before the end of this year. And it being the end of October, that means in the next few weeks. So uh, we have generated very good momentum. Uh, we are uh, receiving uh, great enthusiasm with respect to this economic engagement, which is new. Um, and uh, tailored to the particular challenges we're facing right now. And uh, uh, we're very optimistic about our next steps.